Path to Global Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 255. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 255, February 11th, 2018 edition. What I want to talk about today is a path to global sustainability, which is exactly what it is that we're creating. And our way of creating that is not something that's going to take three or four generations. It's not something that's even going to take two generations. It's a model that's capable of creating global sustainability within our lifetime. And the way that we're accomplishing that, our path to global sustainability is open source and free shared. It's modifiable and adaptable uh, so that people can create it the way that they want or they can replicate it as is if they agree with that mod the model that way. And it is designed to be easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that it will spread on its own. And that self-replicating model is really the path to global sustainability. If we can create a model that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now, built on sustainable infrastructure, designed so that the more people enjoy it and the more it is shared, the more it spreads, that will create the path to global sustainability that's capable of achieving planetary global, global sustainability within our lifetime. And so that's what we're doing. We're taking all the foundations of a sustainable civilization. We're creating the path to global sustainability by open sourcing and free sharing each and every one of those. That includes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing. And we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and truer stewardship. Teaching people how to be stewards of their environment so that their entire way of living gives more than it takes. Gives more ecologically, gives more to their community, gives more to their country, and provides positive things for humanity as a whole, while simultaneously providing a better way of living for the individual that's participating. So putting all these things together, and you can see them happening in the background here, these are the different seven villages that we've created. We also have the open source education model. We also have the open source economic models, the social architecture aspect, the fulfilled living aspects of it. Putting all these things together to create a way of living that, as we said, most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And open sourcing and free sharing it so that it's replicable and running it as an ecotourism destination so that we can invite, eventually, hundreds of thousands of people to visit annually, starting with 100, working up to thousands, and then tens of thousands, and eventually hundreds of thousands of people, because one community, 30% of one community, is meant to always be for visitors, for people to come and experience what it is. And as we build the seven different sustainable village models and expand even beyond that, we'll have the ability to host thousands of people at a time and to show them exactly what it is that we're doing. And then through that, the revenue generated through that process will allow us to continue to expand indefinitely, to help out other organizations that are doing similar things around the world, and to create and support the global cooperative and collaborative of others helping to design this path to global sustainability too. Bringing people together to work in cooperation collaboration as a global cooperative, creating the planet that we all know is possible. It's possible because the technology exists. It's possible because the knowledge exists. It's possible because the people who desire it already exist. There's enough to get this started. And once it's open source and free shared, once the prototype is live and ready to visit, then the idea is to invite as many people to participate as possible and support others who want to build something similar or to take the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and replicate them in a different way and constantly expand the open source suite of options that people will be able to apply for each area of the model, the food, the energy, the housing the economic model, fulfilled living model, the education model, all of that so that people can pick and choose what it is that they want, and put it together in the way that they want, creating sustainable communities that might not be complete eco-villages. It could be a sustainable open source education community. It could be a sustainable open source uh, food production community or an economic model. But the complete model is putting it all together 
the food, the energy, the housing, the education, the social architecture, the highest good economics, and inviting people to experience that, which will be the equivalent of a sustainability club med, providing more things to do than your traditional environment and more time to do those in an environment where nobody has to work a traditional job. Just like running a bed and breakfast that generates enough revenue to support a person's lifestyle, this is running a complete eco-tourism destination that produces enough money to support everybody that lives there while simultaneously giving back to, this, to the global community and helping support others to create this as well. This is our path to global sustainability, and this is how one community is creating it. So with that said, here is one week of our team, and we are in a nonprofit, 100% volunteer, unpaid team. Here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards creating this path to global sustainability. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued research needed for the next generation of the open source climate battery designs. What you see here are a snapshot of some of the details we're researching. The core team also continued working on the Murphy bed instructions. This week, we updated page 410 with new pictures, updated the materials page with screws, sanding discs and nails, and added sockets to the tool page and removed the pneumatic nailer. We also created page 713 and updated page 712 to show the L brackets. Hemant hey, Kodaru, structural engineering master's student working on the open source Earthbag Village designs, created version 1.0 of the spreadsheets you see here for running engineering calculations for our Earthbag structures. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 100 of Dean's work, continuing the process of test rendering the final central dining hall perspective you see here. Also helping with the Cobb Village designs, Patrick Lubin, founder of the Gables Green Homes Project, created these equipment lists for the four maker spaces for this village. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 44th week of work that created this initial presentation for zones 14, 15, and 16. And Jagannathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his 14th week volunteering. This week's focus was finishing the initial cost analysis for the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. You can see some of this work and the related calculations here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished the final 10% of the LEED lighting tutorial details for the lighting design of the city center and all the other One Community structures. This week, we added additional formatting, images, and finished the case study section that explains how we're applying all the lead suggestions in the city center. Hanan Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 22nd week working on the Duplicle City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was continued updating of the door and window plans, updating the master plan shown here to include correct window and door labels and updated locations. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering. What you see here are his final updated calculations and tutorial content for the live and dead loads. And Jin Yu, structural engineering designer, continued her work on the concrete foundation design and tutorial details for the duplicate city center. What you see here is some of her latest work developing the retaining wall section of the tutorial. Satya Shravindran, senior mechanical and industrial engineer, completed his sixth week helping with the lead lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was double checking and finishing updated references, zone designations, and lumen and wattage calculations for the spreadsheet for the entire city center, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. 
This week, the core team continued work on the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages and created three more days of recipes and food intake for a 130-pound female, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued researching images to add to the education, evaluation, and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. We found 11 more images for the pages, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. The highest good network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Pretty Kodari, Shubar Mittal, Priyanka Singh, and Asha Tatamari. This week, the team implemented an access token timeout in the front end and middle tiers, changed the labor units from seconds to hours for leaderboard data, and resolved several errors in the user interface and user management page. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments creating a path to global sustainability. It's open source, it's free shared, it's designed so that anybody can participate, and it's designed to invite eventually hundreds of thousands of people to visit and experience what it is that we're doing and to be able to give those people what they need to replicate everything, either as individual components or as the complete sustainability model. This is our path to global sustainability. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything we've talked about in this video and so much more, visit our written blog, visit our website, check it out. There's so much information there. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to one committee updates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. And we're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and about 15 others to make it as easy as possible to access our information, to share our information. And if you'd like to help out, the number one easiest way to do that is, of course, to share our information. Go and just like our pages uh, share our, our websites on whatever social media platform you like the most. Uh, share the pages that you think are most um, the, the most interesting to share or that you support the most. Help us get the word out. Uh, or visit our helping page and see all the different ways to, to help out there. And of course, thanks for watching to the end. Thanks for the donations that we get. Thank you for the comments that we get. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. All of those things make a huge difference. So if you're somebody that's participating in any one of those ways, we're grateful. Thank you. We appreciate it, and if all you're doing to support us is just sending us positive vibes and watching this video, that's pretty awesome too. We appreciate it all. So with that said, thank you from the bottom of my heart, and until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.